six easy fit tips for beginners and quick hits cardio workout circuits. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal Fox. And today I'm so excited about this video. I am doing a quick hit cardio workout circuits and I am doing six easy fit tips for beginners to get in shape for 2019. So this circuit will help you melt belly fat, body fat, and fat in just general very fast. So high intensity interval training is the best way to burn fat fast and to preserve muscle mass while boosting your metabolism. You do wanna remember there is no such thing as spot training. So reducing fat in specific areas of your body, that's just not a thing. Everybody puts fat on differently because we are all different. So in general, high intensity interval training is just going to tone and tighten you up all over your body. And it's an amazing tool to help you meet your fitness goals for 2019 or anytime. So short bursts of super high intensity, as fast as you can go all out for 15 to 20 seconds is actually true hit cardio. There are so many fitness tips and tricks that you can apply to your fitness goals, but today I'm going to start you off with six that have helped me in my past stay on track. And I'm also going to link a few fit tip videos and another hit workout for you in the description box below and in the cards above in the end of the video so that you can refer to those as well. So let's get into the very first fitness tip. Number one, to stay on track and meet your fitness goals for 2019. Drink plenty of water. Water is so key when you are working out. A lot of the times people will feel really hungry or tired and the result is not drinking enough water. So before you go for any other beverages, go for water. Before you eat a meal, drink some water. Drink like an eight ounce glass of water before you even start, start to eat. And that really helps with hydration and staying full. I know a lot of times in the past I've felt like I was hungry and I really wasn't hungry. I was just really thirsty and dehydrated. Try really hard not to go for sodas or fruit drinks. They're full of sugar and they're really not good for you. And they have so many calories in them. Even coffee beverages can have upwards to like 600 calories in them. And that is a lot of calories to drink in a beverage. Instead, maybe go for like a fruit smoothie. So whole fruits, greens, you can blend them up. They taste really good and they're so good for you and nutritious. Okay, so for our first hit circuit exercise, we're going to be doing single leg explosive lunges on the bench. Now, if you do not have a bench, you can just do this on the floor. So if you're a beginner at home, you can just simply make the modification and do this in your living room or outside. You really do not need a bench, but it definitely will make it harder and more challenging so you can melt that belly fat, melt that body fat right off. Okay, so set your timer or watch the clock. You're going to do each side for 20 seconds. As you can see here, I'm stepping up onto the bench with my left foot and then a right knee up. As you reverse back down from the bench, you're going to sit your body back into your right heel and reverse lunge with your left leg, tapping the bench, and then repeat. Go as fast as you possibly can and really push yourself. You got this, girl. Pull that core into your spine, tighten it up, and breathe. This one burns, holy cow. So basically, there is no such thing as spot training, but doing high intensity interval training is going to just melt the fat off of your body everywhere. And it just really depends on the person where you store fat. So for me, when I incorporate high intensity interval training into my week and I'm lifting heavy weights as well, this is just the perfect combination to just blast and melt that fat. Education and learning what your body needs. So track your food. 
I would just for a time track your food. I think it's important to understand what we're putting in our body. Weighing your food out so you can see what you're eating is super important. I've had clients in the past that say they're eating a tablespoon of peanut butter and in fact, they're eating two to three tablespoons of peanut butter because they just don't have the concept of what a tablespoon is. So the way I learned was actually tracking for a good six months and I can eyeball my food now. I don't need to weigh my food out anymore. I just eat intuitively and know what my body needs. I think it's very important to understand just the basic concept of food. Along with that goes with meal prepping. If you have just a few hours on a weekend, on a Sunday to just meal prep, just a few things that you really love for the week that you can keep in your fridge. That way when you get hungry, you're not reached. <laughs> My cats are crazy. So when you get hungry, you're not reaching for fast food, junk food, pre-prepped meals. Now I'm not saying that all that stuff is horrible and you should never in your life have it, but it lacks very little nutrients in it. So personally for me, what I do is weekly is I prep a whole bunch of beans and a whole bunch of rice and a whole bunch of vegetables. And I have that in my fridge so that I can have something nutritious to reach for so that I'm not going for bagged pre-packaged foods. So try to meal prep. Next one, 20 seconds here, 180 degree squat jumps. All right, we're gonna go as quickly as we can. We're gonna stay nice and low, squeezing the glutes, sitting back into the heels. You can use your arms to keep that momentum going. Just push through it, you got this. Remember to keep those toes pointed outwards. Heels are nice and wide in a sumo position. Your back is nice and flat and that core is pulled right into your spine. It's only 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Okay, whether you're working out at home or in the gym, you must have a plan. I cannot tell you how many times I have walked into the gym in the past and did not have a plan and I just found myself being sidetracked and just working all these random muscles and leaving early or getting on my phone and scrolling. So having a plan, not just with your workouts, but with anything in life in general, is so key for success. Make sure that what you're doing turns into a habit. So every single week, you go in at the same time every single day, and that will turn into a habit, which will turn into the compound effect. So doing little things over time turns into big results. Working out is so incredibly important for your body. It reduces the risks of diseases, it increases bone density, stronger muscles and joints, and drastically improves quality of life. Just learning how to get up off of the floor for so many people without your hands, even with weights, is not something that a lot of people know how to do these days. If you cannot afford to hire a coach, there are plenty of free workouts online. So many awesome women and men trainers out there on Instagram and YouTube. I have so many workouts that are free to you and I love what I do. So take advantage of that. If you ever need any guidance or help, you can always email me. I love to help people. So in general, just stay active, move a little bit more, use the stairs and not the elevator. Okay, a last hit workout exercise for this circuit is gonna be burpees and a squat jump. Holy macaroni, I was dying right now. I don't even know if you can tell, but um, yeah, this one burned. So you're gonna try to stay low the whole entire time and you're just gonna squat jump over the bench or over a towel if you're at home and you need to mimic a bench. And you're gonna jump 180 degrees back around, back into your burpee and then switch again. Make sure when you're in your plank to stay straight as a board, squeeze your booty and make sure your hips don't dip. Okay, so accountability. I think it always helps when you have somebody to go to the gym and work out with, someone that helps motivate you, 
or even if you don't have somebody to work out with and you just don't want to go to the gym, you can at least text them or call them and say, I don't want to go to the gym. And they are there to motivate you and say, girl, you got this. Remember your goals. Remember what you told me. It works for me every single time. So if you don't tell people your goals, then you cannot stay accountable for your actions. Who motivates you in life? Maybe it's another like-minded fitness person on Instagram. Follow people that help motivate you to reach your fitness goals. Make sure you do not follow people that are not motivating you. If you are scrolling and wishing you were someone else, wishing you could have somebody else's body, do not follow those people. If certain people are making you feel bad, if you look at their pictures and you don't feel good about yourself, don't follow those people. You'll never ever have anybody else's body but yours. So the best motivation should be yourself. So take a picture of yourself, put it up in your room, put it on your mirror in your bathroom so that you can look at that every single day and every single week or month you can put another picture side by side and you can see your progress. Be your own motivation. Don't sit there and waste your life and wish that you were somebody else. I've been there before and it is not a good way to stay positive and motivated. Strive to be a better version of you every day and not the other person. <laughs> Lastly, stay positive. Now, I know this is easier said than done sometimes. Trust me, I get it. I get it. But it takes years to get into the best shape of your life. And you know, I don't think that you're ever gonna stop striving to be better and better and better because that's what life is. It's evolving and growing and just being a better you every single day. We can always learn something every single day. So don't ever stop. Fitness and health is all about trial and error. It's about learning about yourself mentally, emotionally, physically. It's about learning about your body. It's about learning about what works for you. Life is all about trying new things. And when we try new things, a lot of times we're gonna fail, but that's normal. Do not let it get you down. If you fail, get up and try again. And I don't even like the word try. I like the word practice because Practice makes progress. Just remember to put one foot in front of the other every single day. I hope that those fit tips helped you guys. They've really helped me in the past. There are so many more that I will be bringing to you in the new year, but I just wanted to leave you with a few. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with somebody who might need to hear this stuff. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video or a fitness tip with me again. So I will see you soon. Bye guys.